What's up guys? So I got word of the trout being stocked today. So I'm gonna go check my uh, local lake, see if the trout were stocked yet. And um, Nathan behind the camera is also gonna take some casts. We're gonna try to catch uh, at least one fish so we could uh, maybe do a catch and cook. I don't know if the trout are definitely stocked yet. So, I mean, if the trout aren't stocked, you guys aren't gonna be seeing this. So, uh, catch you guys down at the water. This is a good one. Holy crap. Did you stop recording when I said no I'm not? Yep. Dang it. That's right, a I guess I was I was not lying when I said I was catching on this cast. This is a good one. Whoa. Want to keep this one? All right, so like I said in my last video, inline spinners are really good for um, stock trout. And right now the gold's working really well. The gold is the Joe's Flies Lure uh, inline spinner. Um, it's got the treble and then the extra hook up top and the little fly above it. And yeah, it's working really good. I've got uh, three trout. Yeah, three. And, um, it's working really well, so. I'm about to catch one on this cast. Yeah, I was just in. <laughs> Nathan's on the uh, on the stick. Let's see if he can get one. Reel it a little faster. Is that one? Is that bottom or that was that one? Oh, yeah. Yes, Nathan. Oh, you shoot. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, Nathan's got his first Long Island trout on. First ever trout stocking trout. I'll land him for you. Keep him out of the over there. Nice. All right. Now just don't reel too much line in. You want a picture with him? Nice trout for Nathan. What's up guys, we're back at my house now. We got the uh, two trout that we kept in the cooler down there. We're gonna wait for a uh, special guest, my dad, the filet master, to help us with filleting the fish because neither of us really know how to fillet fish. I don't usually keep fish. So we're gonna have a little how-to on how to fillet the fish and then uh, how to cook the fish. All right, so first, just gonna sharpen the filet knife. Zoe, be quiet. First, cut. Make a cut. Then, meat 
like a diagonal cut right behind the gills. Down along the rib cage, uh, along the uh, spine, and all the way down to the tail. Nice fillet. And then you do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna cut it there. I'm just gonna trim out the uh, some of the bones. Just trim out the pin bones like that. Same thing on the other one. Next step is to remove the fillet from the skin. Just get the knife underneath it and just go along the skin. There you go, got a pretty nice fillet. Now we got four nice fillets, we had two trout. The top ones look a little bit different color than the bottom ones, it's kind of weird. That was a bigger trout and that was a smaller trout. Okay, so now for cooking it, I'm going, I'm going to um, take the uh, fillets, I'm going to just cook one for now. And then uh, start to cook it for a little bit in this uh, pan. And uh, add the uh, nonstick spray, maybe some salt and pepper. And then um, we had I had fajitas for dinner last night, so I'm gonna add in some of the leftover peppers and onions, and uh, heat that up with the fillet. And then I'm gonna put it in a um, tortilla and add some sriracha. And I'm gonna make myself a nice fish taco. So I'm gonna start cooking now. We got the filet in the pan. I found some Southwest Chipotle seasoning blend. Just gonna throw some of that on there. It's cooking really fast. I'm going to flip it over in a second and then add this to the other side too. Right, I flipped it, added more of the seasoning. Actually looks pretty good. I added the peppers and onions to heat them up. They already sauteed last night. Um, I'm going to flip the trout one more time and then take it out. I'll shoot. Put it onto this plate, chopped it up in some pieces. Now I'm going to throw it onto this and add some sriracha. Here's the final product. We can do a taste test in a second. Actually looks pretty good. Um, kind of optimistic. I'm no chef at all, but I uh, think this might be pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do one bite. Uh, rate it 1 to 10. As a whole, it's really, really good because I put a lot of seasoning and stuff on in the sriracha. But I'm gonna, I have a piece of just the trout right here. So I, I would honestly give that like a seven. I'm gonna try just the trout by itself. Let's see if this is also just as good. Honestly, there's like no fishy taste at all. I really, really like it. Like I would just eat this. Like, I don't know. It's really, really good. I would also give that like a seven. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. Uh, please like and subscribe, comment down below if you want to see me do another catch and cook. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching.